Hi and welcome to my vlog. Um, I'll probably vlog over a couple of days because um, I won't be doing too many interesting things today. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy. This is my outfit. I made this delicious salad. It's so yummy. It's very sunny and on Friday apparently it will be 32 or 33 degrees. So yeah, heat wave, yay! It would be so nice to live in one of these houses and have the view of the water at your back. I totally forgot to film, but I walked to Wandsworth to buy a couple of things and I forgot I was gonna film them. I was looking for delicious cookie dough, but um, neither plant or organic nor wait waitrose had it so i got something different but i'm gonna show you at home what i got so because i totally forgot to film it i've been wearing these shoes and my feet hurt me now i got this cat toy and this harness so that she can be walked outside it makes real mouse noises mini what is this? What is this? Oh, sorry. Do you like it? Do you like it? And cotton buds and this bowl. Because the old one, I mistakenly held it too close to the pan and it uh, melted through. And we have a little helper. What is this? And I got this ice cream, which looks so delicious. Apparently, the pistachios are from the Middle East. Mm. Wow, I walked all the way home from Wandsworth and uh, literally it, it hasn't even melted that much as I thought it had. Well, it tastes very strong like pistachio. This is what my feet are looking like after the long walk. So I won't make that mistake again to use the wrong shoes. But luckily I wore trousers. So at least I don't have a chub rub too. I was smart enough and had the foresight. Thank you very much. And then I also got these. Um, they were reduced from 30 pounds to 10 pounds because it was 20 and then 50 percent off so they're basically a present for my husband because he gave me the money and they look like this in this lovely gorgeous dusky pink color that is my favorite color and yeah Is it Fila? It, this always looks like an S to me, like a small S. So yeah, they're really cute and they've only 10 bucks. So I'm so happy about these. It is the next day and I'm wearing my new shoes for the first time. So it's a day later and I had already bought this pullover for £20, but yesterday I saw it for £12 because it was reduced. So I bought it again um, in size 20, which I thought was the same size, but it's not. This The other old one was a 16. But anyway, I saved and then I saved 8 bucks because it was the last day to the, return the old one. So I went back to Tika Max and returned it. Um, it was the last day to return it, so I returned it, and I found size 18, which is the perfect size, so I exchanged size 20 for size 18, and now I have the same jumper in an even better size for less than I originally paid, so I saved eight pounds in the process. Yay, high five. And I'm going swimming today, but I don't know how I would be able to film myself swimming. 
So I won't be able to take you along because the phone would get wet. So unfortunately, I can't do that. But this is my cute little swimming outfit. I really love how this looks. I really love the design. It's so cute. And this is what I'm wearing. It's H&M. So cute. I'm in the queue for the um, swimming pool. This is the swimming pool. Wow, it's so full today. So it is three days later. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is my birthday. And today I thought I will go um, thrifting. So I thought I'd take you along as well. There's this one charity shop, which is really small, but it, everything is one pound. And there are a couple more in the area where I'm going. So I might go there as well. Um, let's see what I find or if I even find anything. But um, I don't know whether I'll be talking you through in the thrift store because there's all these people around and it will just be awkward. I'm not used to it, so I might not really comment on the stuff in the store, but I'll definitely show you afterwards what I got. It's nice to get a bit of a walk in because I wanted to start getting used to walking again. <laughs> Last year I did some walking in Richmond Park and uh, for a long time, as a, not, not a long time over days, but I mean, I walked for a long time per walk which was good and it's such a healthy thing to do so i need to get used to that again so walking to the church shop is giving me the opportunity to walk for a bit it's not very far so this is not really a long walk but it's better than nothing It's cute, but I don't like the length. This is cute, but it's got a massive stain. This is cute and really affordable, but I just don't need one. What can I do with it? It's so cute. I only got two things. I couldn't find anything nice. I mean, the scarf was nice and the stain probably wouldn't have been that... It wasn't actually that visible and it would have been okay wrapping it round, especially but I can't speak. It would have been okay, especially when wrapping it around your neck. But I have so many scarves and that stopped me from buying another one. I used to have similar scarves and I let go of them because I needed to reduce my scarves. So I guess that stopped me from buying more. I don't know why, because it doesn't stop me. Having a lot of clothes doesn't stop me from buying more clothes apparently. 
but um, this skirt was like the first thing I grabbed. Anyway, I didn't get the scarf and I didn't get the cupcake or, yeah, the cupcake thingy. That was also cute, but I just wouldn't know what to do with it. Because if anything, I have too many little trays and little places to put things in and nothing to put in. So, um, yeah, there was a pair of jeans from ASOS, which would have been, I, I just don't have a lot of jeans, so that would have been a good find, but it was really thinned out in the crotch area, so I didn't really, sorry, there's not that much visually going on. I'll probably do this off camera, then I can show you better. Or maybe I'll do a try-on haul because I didn't get that much. I didn't want to do a try-on haul because it's so much, like, to try on. But it wouldn't be that much since I didn't buy that much. I mean, I I'm still going in the other charity shops. So, because I didn't find that much here. So, let's see what I find there. But there are more than one pound each. I think this is really great that you only have to buy one pound per item. Let me show you what I got so far. This is the first item. It's really cute. Um, I love the pink color with the white. And it's got that little interesting detail and also these buttons down the front. Um, I wasn't sure if it would be too big. That's the size 22 and next. But I think it'll be fine actually. I think one size down would be smaller so. The only thing is that it is made from 50% cotton only and then 50% polyester and I really sweat really easily in, in plastic fabrics so that would have been something to stop me but it was so cute so I grabbed it. I think I'll be okay. And then we have this skirt. I really love the material. It's not my usual color but I really liked it. And I've been looking for more skirts. So, um, yeah, I really like floaty skirts and I just can't find any nice ones in, in my size. I just can't find any nice ones anywhere, even not in my, even not in, not even in another size. But oh no, I didn't see this. I only just realized that somebody has done some sort of sewing project. And they only do exchanges, no refunds. So I think I'm gonna take this home and try it out. Maybe it's not that visible when you wear it. I don't know. Uh, I'm really, that's such a bummer. Uh, I really don't like that. I didn't notice that in the shop. I mean, I could exchange it for the scarf, I guess. Uh, I think I'll have a think about it while in the other cherry shop. I don't know, I really like this. That's such a bummer. Um, I mean, the scarf had a stain. I don't know. I don't need more scarves. I'll try this on and see what it looks like on, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if, I mean, I don't mind handmade things, but it's really visible here. Well, it wasn't that visible or I would have noticed it. But I don't know. Maybe for loungewear at home anyway. I'll have to to have a think about what I'm gonna do because they don't do returns so annoying. An exact dress like this is actually literally being sold at H&M right now but I don't think it's my size. <laughs> After you. This is cute, but I don't like the three-quarter sleeves. This is so cute, but not my size. This is a men's shirt and the shoulders off. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, even though it's really cute. And I also picked this, but this looks like nightwear. But I can wear it for the night, which normally I stay away from for hygiene reasons. But it's really cute. This is what the shirt looks like. And this 
it's a bit too tight for sleepwear it's not really tight it, as a shirt it would be fine but for sleepwear i want something more comfortable and looser off to the next one oh this one is closed there used to be one here but there's scope there so i'll be going there Adidas. Yeah. Haven't found anything else. Um, now I just need to think about what I'm gonna do with the skirt. This is the skirt. It's not as noticeable when you wear it, but I don't know. Why did I even buy this? I wish I had noticed earlier. I have kept the skirt um, just because I can't do any returns there. And I don't need more scarves. If nothing else, I'll wear it. And also because it, it was initially so cute. But I don't know. I don't want to look like a homeless person. But if nothing else, I'll just wear it as loungewear on, uh, for inside the house. And I just wanted to say. Even though I only found two things. Um, I wouldn't call this a failure of a shopping trip. I would still call it a success just because I did find two things and I saved more money in this way by, by not over shopping and I'm not stuffing my house with unnecessary stuff not that much anyway <laughs> so at least I'm not bringing home hordes or loads of loads of stuff that I don't need and that I don't have room for so i'll still call it a success i just wanted to say that because i hear so many shoppers so many youtubers um, who do thrifting say oh my god this was such a success when they find like really good and like loads of stuff but i will still consider it a success that i bought two things that i think are cute or one and a half because one of them is a bit iffy <laughs> but i'm really looking forward to wearing the shirt and also, I think this concludes my vlog because I have enough footage together. I think I, it's at least 15 minutes long, so um, I think that's fine for a vlog video. So I'll see you in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe and um, also share this video with your friends. Comment on it. Let me know what your latest thrift finds were or when you went swimming last and how it was. And yeah um switch on your notification bell so that you don't miss out and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys thanks for tuning in bye have a good one and enjoy the warm weather in the uk anyways bye